Hello, this is Pastor John with my weekly update for all of you today. Well, be on the lookout as this weekend we will begin sharing some of our plans for Christmas and Advent generosity. This year, Advent generosity includes a virtual option of Project Angel Tree, undergarment donations for St. Herman's and Laura's home, gift cards for Adopt a Child, and Operation Christmas Child. As always, you can find more information about each of these on our website. Now, with November just around the corner, Thanksgiving, as you know, is not far behind. And even though it's going to be very different this year, safely offering Care and Share Thanksgiving meals is still an important outreach effort, especially now. So on Sunday, registration links will go live for those of you who'd like to help and volunteer, as well as for those requesting either carry-out meals or meals delivered to their homes. Please visit our website this Sunday for more details. But let's do all that we can to continue to demonstrate the love of Christ to others. All right, in November, I'd also like to ask you to take on the 30-day gratitude challenge. Whether it's simply smiling at a stranger or posting a Bible verse on social media, these simple acts go a long way in spreading the love of Christ. So again, let me encourage you to join our church and our school staff in this 30-day challenge. Copies of the challenge calendar will be available on the tables outside of the sanctuary and CAC, or if you prefer, you can download a copy from the resources page on our website. One more thing, I'd like to make a correction with regards to Operation Christmas Child. If you're filling a shoebox, please know that you can return it anytime now through November 15th. Collection bins are available in the commons and narthex if you're here during worship times, and they're also located outside the central entrance. If you have any questions about Operation Christmas Child, please connect with either Debbie or Dave Frank. Well, having concluded our series on the Lord's Prayer, we will be sharing various different themes before launching into our Advent series. This weekend, Pastor Tim will focus on Revelation 21 verses 1 through 4 in his message titled, Life Everlasting. On this All Saints weekend, we will focus on those who in saving faith have gone before us and to better understand life, death, and eternal life. As God's children, we look with anticipation to the fulfillment of all that God has promised us through faith in Jesus Christ. And as a result, we don't have just some vague hope and some vague afterlife, but we focus on the certainty of our bodily resurrection and life everlasting with our Savior Jesus. Oh, before I forget, as a result of Servant Saturday, we received a personal note from Rose, a North Royalton resident, and I'd like to read a portion of it to you. In her note, she says this, I appreciate all the work your volunteers did at my house on October 18th. They did a beautiful job and I feel so blessed. Thank you to everyone at Royal Redeemer. I could not have done all that work. I'll be 93 years old in November. God bless each and every one with good health, happiness, and a long life. Wow, what a, what a wonderful affirmation of the fact that as you share your time and energy with others, you share Christ's love. You know, every act of kindness, it does make a difference. So, thank you. All right, well, let me just close with the truth worth holding. In Revelation 7, 14, we read, These are they who have come out of the great tribulation. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Here the Apostle John spells out the fact that while life on earth can result in sin-filled pain and difficulty, we can look forward with joy to the day when we and all true believers will be set free from our suffering and made pure through the sacrifice of Christ our Savior. Well, please continue to check your email, Facebook, and our website for updates. And as always, may God watch over you and your loved ones and keep you in His protection and in good health.